Hi, welcome to Tech Bytes with Hef. Today we're going to take a look at Google Jamboard. It's an interactive whiteboard that you can use for education or business. Let's get started. So let's start by opening up Chrome and you're going to go to your Google Apps. You're going to scroll down until you find Jamboard and click on it. Down in the right hand corner, there's a plus sign for you to add a new jam. My jam comes up. The first thing you're going to want to do is give it a title. So click on the untitled here. Okay, I named mine Tech Bytes with Hef. Now let's take a look at the toolbar at the top. We have forward and back, redo. We have a zoom background. I'm going to change the background from plain to either dots, rules, squares, graph, blue, or chalkboard. I'm going to go with lines. Okay, I have a line background. The toolbar down the side has a pen that I can write with. But if I choose to, I can erase any of the mistakes that I made. There's a pointer and there's sticky notes that we're going to talk about in a little bit. And then I have add an image. I'm going to add image here. I'm going to put this photo and I'm going to drag that photo down to the corner. Okay. This is going to be my question. I can duplicate or delete that. Okay. I'm going to add another image. I'm going to add the question that I want my students to answer. put this right here. Now I have a laser pointer and your laser pointer will just disappear. Okay. So now I can ask my students to answer the question with a sticky note. They'll type in their answer and then save it and it'll pop up. Let's move on to how to share your Jamboard. Let's share our Jamboard. Here we go. We're going to click on share. I can share with people or groups and I can share with an email address or with a link. Now I've taken the liberty of sharing it already with another Gmail account that I have. You can see that I am listed as an editor. I could also be a viewer. I could make somebody an owner or I could delete it. The only problem with using this with students is that if everybody is an editor and that's what you want because you want them to submit to the board, um, they can also make changes to other people's submissions. So you might have to make sure that there are rules for behavior on your Jamboard. I can get a link, which is really cool because if I get a link, then I can share that link to my virtual classroom. Okay. All right. I'm done. I'm going to split my screen so that you can see how this works. So there's both of my accounts. And now I'm going to put a sticky note from this account and save it. And you can see that it pops up on both sides and I can move it around. Okay. Once more, take a look over here. You can see it's on both accounts. All right, so that's Jamboard. Uh, thanks for joining me. See you next time.